Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup and today I'm really excited because I was invited or kind of asked to be a participant in a Disney princess collab that my good friend Adi, which you probably have heard of already on my channel because we've done several collabs, um, but yeah, she's doing every Sunday a Disney princess and I think she does it with like different people At least now she has opened it up that you had to like guess what kind of princess They haven't already done and then you could join so I guessed Belle and that was the next princess So here we are. I'm filming this on Saturday the 5th of September and I'm posting this tomorrow on the 6th And it's really exciting because actually my channel turns one year the 7th of September. That's when I uploaded my first ever video and last week I also reached 1000 subscribers so thank you so so much for being here and I just wanted to mention it and say thank you to all of you guys who watch my videos and if you're new here then welcome and you're welcome to subscribe as well and I also actually moved my setup to the living room which is why some of you might see that it looks a little bit different behind me so I have my little bookshelf right here I'm trying to like figure out the lighting because it's so dark in the background here um, we don't really have any lighting in the roof but I just wanted to share that with you guys and maybe one day I will show you how my setup is because it's like super super simple <laughs> But I don't want to ramble on too long. If you're here for the Disney princess look, then let's just get straight into it. So I actually decided to make a whole nine pan color story that is like based on Beauty and the Beast. And I'll see if I can like throw up the photo that I was inspired by. And obviously, as you can see, I have like a mix of blue and yellow because the Beast is always like in this uh, kind of blue suit. Whereas Belle always, of course, have this gorgeous warm yellowy gold dress and she has brown hair which is like something that goes um in all of the photos that i've seen it's like a lot of like goldish browns and of course the blues and i just had to throw in a red that's like representative of the rose because that's like so beautiful and i feel like that could like make this palette a little bit more special and hopefully it's obvious to you guys that this is like a Beauty and the Beast inspired palette. Uh, the look is supposed to be like Belle inspired, but for me it was like Belle is Beauty and the Beast and Beauty and the Beast is like Belle, so <laughs> here we have like a quite uh, colorful look that and I just didn't want to do something like super standard brown and gold, so I just took inspiration also from the Beast with the blues and yeah, I hope that that's okay, but I'm just going to swatch this palette out quite quickly for you and then I'm going to show you how I did this look. Okay, so obviously a lot of these or most of these are pressed pigments so for example this one didn't swatch that good but as you can see on my finger you do have actually quite a lot of pigment there and it applies beautifully on a glitter glue and this one also is so flaky so it's almost impossible to swatch it without glitter glue <laughs> um, but I will say that most of the others are really nice 
uh, swatched. All of them are obviously nicely when you use them. This one I actually had some trouble with when I was using it in my eye look and as you could see from the swatch it was like really hard to get it opaque so maybe that has something to do with the formula and not my application. I kind of hope so but at the same time I'm kind of sad because I really like that deep deep blue color but yeah as you can see we have a quite like yellowy blue warm but also cool toned palette um i really like this and i feel like you can do a lot of different things with this but yeah i'm not going to dwell too much on it not a lot of these are very like duochrome so i think it's enough to just show you in this normal lighting right here uh, i really like all of them actually but now let's just get going to the look i don't really have that much of a plan but right now I'm thinking I'll just go in with the blues for my uh, lid not this one I think I think I want to use this one on like the outer corner and the inner corner and then I'll go in with the red in the middle because I feel like that would be nice because of the rose <laughs> and uh, then I think I will just go and blend out this with the outer corner on the lower lash line and then Blend it out with this and yeah, use the yummy orangey gold here. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and start with It's a Boy by Sydney Grace for, I don't know if I'm going to place it in my inner and outer corner. <laughs> I'm just going to start by placing it here and we shall just see. I think I want it in both my inner and outer corner. I'll just add it also in my inner corner right here. I'm just going to use the bright blue matte to blend this out and make it a bit more, of course, bright. <laughs> I don't know why it's looking so patchy in the inner corner. Maybe my NARS base creased a little bit. I'll probably cover that part up anyway with shimmer but so i'm ready to go in with the bright blue which is drip drop by colored rain and i'm just taking my kaleidos makeup s5 brush which is this more detailed brush and if you have tried sydney grace mattes please tell me if this is like normal that it's looking so patchy because in my opinion this is looking really patchy. I'm trying to go even closer so you can see what I mean. It might just be my base, so tell me what kind of base you use if you don't have this problem, because I also want to love <laughs> Sydney Grace because everyone else is raving about it. But yeah, I'm probably going to be able to make this work anyway, but just let me know. Okay, so I think it's looking better. I just tried to like really pack on that shade drip drop and it's looking a lot better and most of this I'm going to cover up anyway, but I'm just using a little bit more of It's a Boy and I'm not like blending too much. I'm more like tapping in as you can see. And yeah, I'm just making sure that I darken up the crease a lot because that deepest blue shimmer is like really deep. <laughs> I think I'll actually just try to cover up the empty space in the middle of my eye with the brown because I want to use the red. So I think the brown could be like a nice base for the red. I'm just using a random Morphe brush actually. But I'm just going to start here because if it looks horrible, this is going to get covered up anyway. I'm like, I have no idea what's happening with that shade. <laughs> it's a little bit annoying, but... That's life. And I'm just taking a brush. I used this earlier just to set underneath my brow here and I'm just like slightly blending here since I don't have any neutral really light shade. So I'm just also going to go back in with this brush. I didn't add anything else. I just want there to be like a nice gradient between these shades. So I just added glitter glue and I've been liking this shape of like dragging it quite far up, almost like an arrow. So I think I'm going to go in with my red pigment first and I'm just going to start placing that here. 
I don't know exactly how I want the colors to be laid out on my lid though, so I'll just start with this and we'll just see where it takes us. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'll stop with the red right here and then I'm going to just take the, the deeper blue. So I'm just placing the pigment Lady Night right here. And this is so sparkly and pretty. I'm actually kind of liking how they're just meeting like this and how the red is so flaky because it almost looks like rose petals and if you know the movie Beauty and the Beast you know that the, like the rose petals are falling down and I feel like that looks really pretty here and it kind of reminds me of that. Maybe it's just my imagination but <laughs> I like the idea of that. So I think that's it for the top of my eye so I'll do the same with the other eye. I'll probably just go over the edges right here with the deepest shade and hope for the best <laughs> and I'll do my face makeup and I'll be back. So I'm just noticing how the blues are just like wearing off <laughs> which is so annoying and I'm going to work with this look and I'm going to work for many hours so it sucks that this won't work. Um, hopefully it will end up looking at least wearable but yeah. I'm just going in with that brown again here and as I said I do want to use the yellow and also that gorgeous copper pigment. So I'm just trying to like connect the brown with the blue and then I'll blend out with the yellow. So I added a tiny bit of glitter glue to my inner corner as well and I'm of course going in with the shade Flare I think it's called by Pretty's For Your Face. Yeah, Flare. So I'm just going to add that here. It's like a light yellow with blue to purple reflex and it's really beautiful. Like this look is not what I would have preferred to go with to work with because this is like a little bit more I don't know <laughs> crazy and editorial but I do wear glasses so it's going to look a lot more toned down and it's quite dark in the restaurant so hopefully people won't think I'm crazy <laughs> but I think that's it for the look maybe I will do some <sighs> I don't even know what to do with this because I keep packing it on and it's just like in two minutes it's gone again <laughs> so I have no idea what to do about that I think I'll just have to live with it but I'll just finish up my face makeup and show you the close-up so that is how my finished look turned out and I really do love the concept of my look I just don't really like the execution of it. I feel like there's a lot of details here that are not that pretty like for example in the outer corner. I tried fixing it by putting on more of my eyeshadow base but I got like this line here and yeah I'm just not really happy with how the shadows applied and I don't know if it's the shadows that just don't work together or if it was my application but usually I don't have these problems so it's really hard to say what it could have been <laughs> but I do love the colors together if I were to do this again I would have probably done it the opposite way that I had like the colors I have underneath here on the top of my lid and then taken the blues on the lower lash line just to make it a little bit more bell but I'm still happy with how it turned out and it's going to look a lot more muted once I get my glasses on but I can't wear them right now because my ring lights are going to be like reflected in my glasses and it's going to look really weird but yeah, uh, all in all, I am happy with this look. Please leave me a comment down below what you thought of it. <laughs> Other than that, I really want to thank uh, Adi for including me with this collab. Her and Lacey, I think, are going to do this for all Sundays. I'm not really sure because she just changed it up a little bit with who she's going to do the collab with. But she already did 
a lot of different looks with another person I think so definitely go check out her Instagram if you want to see more of her Disney princess inspired looks but anyway I think that's it for this video I want to thank you so so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hopefully I will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye